Hi, in this short video, I want to tell you about the best email marketing service, ConvertKit. I have been working with this site for many years. With the help of it, I earn over $20,000 per month. Watch this video carefully for five secrets that make ConvertKit the best in the email marketing services category. So let's get started. With the client base spanning all the industries, ConvertKit's core mission is to empower small businesses and bloggers to help them grow their audience. Its purpose is to capitalize on the follow-up mailing list and ultimately make it easier for subscribers to become paying customers. To achieve this, it offers many features that supposedly rival even the largest players. ConvertKit uses two main email automation tools. It came with a traditional rule builder from the start and then recently introduced a visual workflow builder. They are both powerful email automation managers. But all things considered, ConvertKit's strength is its traditional rule builder. This is very simple and straightforward since all processes are basically grouped into triggers and actions. Trigger operations are mapped to their respective system actions to initiate selected processes according to the behavior of the site visitor. The sequential list of automation rules is straightforward, but only for simple automations. Things get a little confusing when you're faced with complex automations combined with combined rules that affect multiple channels simultaneously. So to solve this problem, ConvertKit threw in a visual automation builder and even made it the default window for automation. This system essentially describes your workflows according to the relevant outcome context. While ConvertKit is pleasantly easy to manage, its workflows appear to be static, ideal for the casual blogger, but not for professional marketers who benefit from the services offered by more powerful workflow managers. Automation is perfect for handling your audience and numbers, but that's just a fraction of the entire email marketing ecosystem. The other part consists of those one-off emails that you might have to send to individuals. Instead of creating complex sets of broadcast rules, users can use a filtering tool to select specific participants to whom they would like to send emails. As you continue, you will notice that ConvertKit uses the standard HTML email editor, which also has a few additional options. For example, clicking the AB command next to the subject field runs the title split test. And to use your selected tag segmentation or add merge tags, ConvertKit provides an additional personalization option. ConvertKit provides a 14-day free trial, so users can try before they buy. Therefore, to set up a ConvertKit account, simply select Try it for free. You will then be asked to provide some basic information, including your email address and phone number. When finished, you will be in the new ConvertKit toolbar. ConvertKit displays a friendly welcome screen for new subscribers. There is a checklist on the left side of the screen to help you get started quickly and set up your account. There is also a demo video to give you more information on what you can do on the ConvertKit platform. If you want to add an opt-out form to your website, you will need to start by creating a form in a Visual Designer. To do this, select Forms, then New Forms from the top menu. You will see here again, ConvertKit shows a helpful video guiding you through the process of creating a form. ConvertKit provides three types of forms that you can choose from. They are inline form, modal, and slide in. Next, you will need to select an email template to use for your subscription form. The number of templates that ConvertKit offers is small. However, suffice is to say that you should be able to find the appropriate subscription form from the templates available. The visual editor is an extremely intuitive and high-quality tool that will allow you to quickly edit your form template without touching a line of code. 
you can customize edge design elements by simply clicking directly on it and then changing the settings in the settings menu that appears on the right side of the page. ConvertKit's visual editor has its limitations. You cannot add new elements to form templates or resize or move them in a drag and drop style as many builder tools allow. However, there are enough customization options to ensure that you can create a form that reflects your brand and subscription needs. By selecting the settings icon in the right menu, you will be able to customize the form display options such as transform action, choose what happens when the user subscribes to the form. You can write and display a success message or redirect the user to another page. Display trigger. Choose when to show your subscription form to visitors on your site. You can activate a form after a visitor has spent a certain amount of time on your site, after they have scrolled down a percentage of the way down the page, or when a visitor leaves your site. Appliances Choose to display the consent form on mobile, desktop, or all devices. Cookies Choose how often the visitor should be open to subscribe. In the interest of user experience, it is recommended that the form be rendered every 15 days by the user. You can also set up a promotional email that will be sent to a subscriber after they register on your mailing list. Select the email icon from the right menu and then select Edit Email Content to write the text of your welcome email. You have successfully created your form. The last step in this process is to embed your form into your WordPress site. By choosing Embed on the right side of the top menu bar, you will find the HTML embedded code as well as the WordPress shortcode for your form. If your site is powered by WordPress, the easiest way to integrate your site and ConvertKit account is to install the ConvertKit plugin. Now you will need to connect to your website and ConvertKit account. Now scroll down the page and next to Default form, select the form you want to display on your site. If you've created an inline form, you can add the form shortcode to the WordPress editor on any page or post. Once set up, open your website in the front end to test how your form looks and works. So now we know how to set up a consent form on your WordPress site. And once it launches, hopefully you will soon start collecting new subscribers to your mailing list. So now let's take a look at how to set up an email campaign to help you connect with these new subscribers. How you manage your subscribers ultimately determines your overall targeting protocol, the emails you send and the resulting results. It is also used heavily in automation to set rules for different types of subscribers. The tagging system now has many important benefits. And the most outstanding is the ability to segment subscribers according to their characteristic behavior. For example, you can set a tag for subscribers who open a specific email and then apply a different one to a selected few who also click on a specific link. Now, this by itself forms two different sets of subscribers that you can target with different emails and offers. It is also possible to combine several groups by combining texts. This allows you to send dynamic marketing messages that collectively apply to different subgroups at the same time. To further simplify the tagging process, ConvertKit has released an updated plugin for WordPress users. Among other features, it includes the ability to track website visitors and subsequently highlight tags according to individual behavior. Now this is one extremely useful feature, but here is the kicker, you may have to wait if your site is not WordPress-based. Using ConvertKit, you will learn that automatic email campaigns are funnels. A funnel is a series of automated emails that are sent to members of your mailing list. ConvertKit has a very limited free plan that provides unlimited free landing pages and 30 premium email templates. 
If you want to send email for free, you need to ask your friend. ConvertKit's paid plans are expensive. Its least expensive plan, which is only available for 1 to 1,000 subscribers, costs $29 per month. The price varies depending on the number of subscribers, not on the feature set. Not having a free plan is another deliberate decision from ConvertKit, as the company believes you have to pay if you want to create winning email marketing campaigns. You get two months for free if you choose to pay annually. Fortunately, there is a way to make your package cheaper, but there is a catch. You must stay for at least one year as only the annual prepayments will qualify you for two free months. Basically, you end up paying for 10 months to get two more at no additional cost. Thanks for staying with our channel and we are preparing more videos for you.